Good morning, I'm Kendis Gibson. And I'm Lauren Lister with the top stories on this Thursday, December 31st. For the first time, Bill Cosby is now facing criminal charges for alleged sexual misconduct. The legendary comedian is charged with aggravated indecent assault 12 years ago, allegedly in his suburban Philadelphia home. Prior cases have been civil. The statute of limitations on the woman's claim would have expired next month. Cosby was released after posting $100,000 bail. He's due back in court in two weeks. The deportation of so-called affluenza teen Ethan Couch has been delayed by a judge in Mexico. He was moved, though, from a detention center in Guadalajara to an immigration facility in Mexico City. Once returned to the U.S., Couch faces charges of violating his parole from a drunk driving accident that killed four people. In the meantime, Couch's mother, Tanya, is returning to the U.S. to be turned over to federal marshals in Los Angeles. She could face up to 10 years in prison for helping her son flee to Mexico. The devastating floods in the Midwest have now killed more than 20 people. The Mississippi and other rivers are expected to crest today. Major highways are closed and many people have been told to evacuate. Some had to be rescued. It's the region's worst flooding since the summer of 1993. That same storm system that's been slamming the southern U.S. is having a major impact at the North Pole. Temperatures there briefly inched above the freezing point to 33 degrees. That's more than 50 degrees above normal for December when temperatures are usually 20 below. And it was plenty cold for this annual tradition. This is in Russia, deep beneath the waters of a frigid lake in Siberia. Divers braved 35 degree temperatures to decorate a Christmas tree. This is 33 feet, as I mentioned, beneath the water surface, complete with bulbs and garland. The divers even dressed up in festive costumes, danced around the tree, and we're told they drank plenty of wine, not vodka, but wine. All right, that's important to know. And you can get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Lauren Lister. And I'm Candace Gibson. Happy New Year's Eve.